Let's start our weekend off with some creativity. My name is Alana Nagy and this is Studio Saturdays. Today we'll be making impossible pyramid triangles inspired by artist Al Loving. For today's project, you will need one white paper, one black paper, colored pencils, a pencil, a ruler, and glue. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at our featured artwork from the collection. Alvin D. Loving, known as Al Loving, was an American artist born in Detroit, Michigan in 1935. After studying art at the University of Michigan, Loving moved to New York in 1968. One year later, in 1969, he became the first African-American artist to have a one-person show at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City. This untitled artwork from that same year is a good example of the paintings from Loving's early career. He created large geometric paintings of multi-sided objects that look 3D. Paintings like this artwork are examples of geometric abstraction a style of art that focuses only on sharp geometric shapes and lines, rather than soft natural ones. In his geometric abstraction works, Loving mainly used the square as his base shape. He stated that, to him, a square is pure energy and focus. If you look closely at this painting, you can see that it is made up of squares and triangles. Geometric abstraction is a form of abstract art a larger category of art. In abstract art, the artist uses shapes to form an image instead of trying to recreate a real-life object. The goal of an abstract artwork is often to communicate a feeling or emotion rather than create a recognizable picture. For today's activity, we will learn how to create an optical illusion inspired by Loving's geometric shapes in the form of a 3D paper pyramid made up of impossible triangles. An impossible triangle, also called a Penrose triangle, is a shape that appears to be solid, made up of three bars that connect to one another in a way that, in a real physical object, wouldn't be possible. This is an optical illusion. Just as Al Loving combines different shapes into one painting that looks 3D, we will create four impossible triangle drawings that, when combined, create one impossible pyramid. You can use the same colors for your drawing or create a complementary color scheme like we learned about last week with Andrew Masulo. Now it's time to think like an artist. Do you prefer looking at realistic or abstract artworks and why? Do you prefer creating realistic or abstract artworks and why? Measure the long bottom side of the paper with a ruler and draw a short line at the 8 inch mark and another short line at the 4 inch mark. Repeat these steps at the top of the paper. Turn the paper to the side and on the short end measure one half of an inch on one side and one half and an inch on the other. Line the ruler up on the two one half inch marks and draw a line going across the bottom of the paper. Repeat the steps on the top. Use a ruler to connect the middle mark from the top of the paper to the bottom left corner of the page and draw a diagonal line. Line up the ruler to the middle mark again in the bottom right corner and draw another diagonal line to create a triangle. Measure the diagonal line. It should be about eight and a half inches and mark with a dot in the center of it at four and a half inches.
Repeat this on the other side. Then connect the dots with a horizontal line. Line up the ruler to one of the dots in the middle mark on the bottom of the paper. Connect with a diagonal line. Repeat on the other side to create another triangle. On the bottom right side of the triangle, draw two lines one and a half inches long, and then connect with another line to create a rectangle. Repeat these steps on the top left triangle. Mark the top left, the bottom left, and the right tabs with X's. These tabs will stay connected to the triangle. Use your scissors to cut around the shapes to create the pyramid outline, making sure to keep the tabs with the X's on attached. Use a ruler to draw a triangle in the center of one section. Draw three longer lines extending from each corner. Use the ruler to draw a line from each corner to the edge of the paper. This will create the illusion of an impossible triangle. Repeat these steps on each side to draw an impossible triangle on every side of the pyramid. You can reference the earlier image of an impossible triangle if you're having difficulties remembering which way the line should go.
Use colored pencils to color in each section. You can use the shading technique of one end being darker than the other to enhance the illusion of the impossible triangle. Color in each section of the pyramid. Once all sections have been colored, use a glue stick to attach the pyramid to the black piece of paper. Then use scissors to cut off any extra black paper. Cut out the center section of each of the triangles by lightly folding over the paper and inserting the tip of the scissors. Repeat on all sections of the pyramid. Fold over each line of the pyramid and bend the tabs inwards. Apply glue on each of the tabs and fold it over to create the 3D pyramid shape. Use scissors to cut away any excess areas of the tabs. And that's it for our Impossible Triangle Pyramid. Look over each side to see how the Impossible Triangle works and be proud of your artwork! Thanks so much for joining me today while we made Impossible Pyramid Triangles inspired by Al Bunny. Be sure to join me next time where we'll be drawing a picture of our environment in one point perspective inspired by Edward Burtinsky. Have a great weekend and happy crafting!